Can you tell I'm having fun now? <laughs> Some of you already know what I'm doing. Some of you probably already recognize the engine in the car. Uh, this is the M104 straight six dual overhead cam engine that's in a 1993 300 SL. And I have, to, I have to replace head gasket because the head gasket is leaking oil and the front timing uh, cover seal is leaking oil as well. And this is a very common occurrence. Well, there's a lot of these engines out there and there's a lot of them out there with leaking head gaskets and front timing cover seals. So what I'm doing, I decided to go ahead and do a full video series on this. In fact, it's going to be the longest on-demand video I've ever done. I, it, it could run three to four hours in length, so I've, I've had to break it down into, into three parts. It may end up having to be four parts because of the download situation. But in this video, I go over everything. I go over every detail, all those things that can be a mystery. I, 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 I get rid of the mysteries behind getting the head off and back on successfully, but I also cover all the other little things that might come up to bite you, okay? Because if you do this job yourself, there's at least a half a dozen things that could bite you if, you, if they're not done properly and you'll end up actually redoing the job over, okay? So we want to try to avoid that. I mean, I'm being really careful myself. I've got, you know, I've got straight edges out here. I'm checking level, I'm checking everything. Uh, double checking everything. I'm ordering all the parts I need, including parts underneath the intake manifold, which I want to replace now because it's the access under there is so difficult on these early, uh, you know, M M104, uh, you know, straight sixes. So that's what I'm doing. I'm having a lot of fun. I'm shooting a lot of video here. It's, I'm almost getting tired because <laughs> it's one scene after one video is like 18 total scenes. So. If you have a M104 engine that's leaking oil out of the head gasket, uh, you might want to check this out because this is something you can do yourself and, uh, self and literally save a ton of money. So far I've filmed three parts in this video series. It may go to part four and part five, but part one, I went over getting the engine prepped for head removal. That's disconnecting everything. And, kind of getting the engine set up where it should be before you actually take the cylinder head off. Part two in this series, I went through the procedure step by step on how to properly remove the head so you don't have any problems because this is, this is a real important part of this whole process, getting the head off properly so it's not, not impossible to get it back on and get it timed again. And then in part three, I went through the whole process of cleaning the head, cleaning the block, uh, prepping all the parts. Some of the things you want to order besides just a gasket set, including all the parts you probably should replace if you've gone to the work to get the head off, off the engine because you have easy access. And now, now's the time to replace those parts, things like the water pump, thermostat, <laughs> fuel injectors, those, those type of things. Now in the next part, we're getting ready. You can see the head is, is ready. I've had the, the exhaust manifolds uh, coated and machined. They're ready to go back on. We're gonna get ready to put this head back on the engine and get it all timed properly. And that, that'll be covered in part four, probably done, uh, finished up around uh, late May or June of 2015. And then if I need another part, we'll kind of wrap it up as we talk about some of the things that we'll have to make sure are hooked up properly and maybe some some final tuning and some final comments about this job. So as I say, this is a big job and it, it took a lot of time to do the job and it took even more time to film it. Now this is, this is specific to the, the 104, the M104 engine. I know if you have an M103 engine, that's a single overhead cam engine, uh, you have some of the same problems with some of the same leaks. And some aspects of this video you may find helpful, but uh, some of the procedures are going to be different. Of course, you'll have to interpolate. And of course, I recommend, even if you watch this video series, that you have the factory manual available because I won't be going every, over every single torque specification and, and uh, you know, timing specification in detail like the manual does. So that, that kind of gives you an overview of this video series. If you're interested in watching any of these that are available on my website, I'll just put links below. But make sure you click on Show More. Remember, I get this all the time. People say, I didn't find your links. It's because YouTube hides them. They don't show the whole description. You have to click show more below, and then that's going to open up and take you to all the links 
of the related products and the videos that, I've, that I discuss in this video series.